Hey guys, I am back with another clearance video and I'm excited to show you what I found. So please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and well, let's get right to it. So this is probably one of the smaller nugget ice makers I've seen at Costco. This one makes around 20 pounds of ice a day and it's going for $120 in the Norwalk location. Normally it sells for $150 and I was kind of comparing it in size compared to the one that was right next to it which is also an ice maker and this one is much smaller. Not only that, it makes less ice of course. The other one makes around 44 pounds or so. So let me know what are your thoughts on this one. Is it worth it? Many Costco's in my area also have this Cuisinart countertop oven touchscreen with an air fry feature at $149.97. Let me know if you're able to spot this one at a lower price, but so far the price seems to be pretty steady across several Costco locations I've been to. Here is what it looks like on the inside. I'm even imagining like the cauliflower crust Milton's pizza they sell at Costco probably fits in here with no issues. $149.97. They did have several of them left. And again, many Costco's have them at this price. And in case anyone's been eyeing these tumblers, I did spot these at a clearance price for the first time ever. They normally sell for $20, and I found them in the Tustin location going for $12, so not a bad price. They come as a two pack, and the color options are absolutely beautiful. This one right here is beige and green, and the other one is blue and lavender. They do have an extra wide straw to them, and of course, it's glass. And again, they can fit up to 15 ounces of liquid. This is a shelf organizer that I've seen in several Costco locations, but again, for the first time ever, I'm seeing this one come down to a clearance price of $14.97. You do get two shelf organizers, and I think these are so handy whenever you want to take up some space in your home, especially like in the kitchen, if you have a small kitchen, little organization, things like this can be super helpful. These shelves are expandable, by the way, and they can be used separately. At one point, we were seeing this 12-piece set of the hard anodized cookware in several Costco locations, but I'm thinking they're, you know, they got rid of them for the most part. It's the Kirkland Signature brand, and in the Lake Elsinore location, I found it going for $99.97. These are oven safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but personally, I never used any of these cookware sets by the Kirkland Signature brand. It does come with a couple skillets included. You have saucepans as well and a covered sauce pot and a covered stock pot. This is a sliding bin organizer that is made of 100% bamboo. It has two sliding bins for easy organization and you can pretty much use them anywhere in your house. I found them going for $16.97 and by the way, many Costco's are still pretty much in stock for this item. They're very easy to clean and super versatile. In the Lake Elsinore location, I did spot this Rubbermaid 16-piece set. Now, although this one is plastic, it's pretty good in terms of quality. I know my mom's had one of these sets for like the longest time and it's hold up quite well. I found them going for $19.97. Costco's do seem to have a limited stock for them now, uh, but they're so useful if you, if you want to store like um, little ingredients that you chop up or I know sometimes we even use them to store like you know, leftovers. They come in handy. They normally sell for 30 Has anyone else been eyeing this kitchen drawer organization set? I feel like these would come in handy too. You get a total of three trays. This one would be more ideal for, of course, the kitchen utensils. Then you have this one that could pretty much go in any drawer. And then they also have this one, which would be ideal for like some of the kitchen, uh, kitchen stuff too. I found it going for $16.97 and keep in mind it normally sells for $30. And by the way, this one I spotted in the Norwalk location and they had several of them left. Here is another rare find. These are the sheet pans that come as a set of four. The brand is called Nordic Wear and I can totally see myself just heating up bread on here. Sometimes it's just me that wants bread and not my husband. So that's what I'm saying. These are of a good size. Great for like if it's just two people at home kind of thing. $9.97. These normally sell for 18 I did spot these in the Lake Elsinore location. Now, do you guys remember this huge beverage tub by Lori Gates? Well, this one I finally found it at a clearance price, and it seems like Costco trying to get rid of this one too. Many Costco still have these in stock, but of course, the pricing is going to vary. It's a 14.5 quarts, and I found it going for $16.97. 
For a second, I thought the same sale was being extended on this Dish Daddy soap dispensing dish wand. And because I know it wasn't, um, it was on sale actually not that long ago, but I found it going for $5.97 for a limited time. And I saw a couple of people grabbing these. But I'm curious to know, is the dish wand better or do you guys recommend the Scrub Mommy sponges? Because I know my local Costco has those as well. And I'm kind of torn. Um, I'm wondering which one, you know, would be more useful. But this one does have a built in scraper. And then it has a couple of different sponges that you would pretty much attach to the dish wand. I just realized the original Weatherproof Vintage is the same brand that makes some of my favorite um, flannels that I usually purchase at Costco. So their materials are really good quality. This time around though, I spotted their hooded blankets. They're 54 by 72 inches and I found them going for 25. Many Costco's still carry these by the way. Um, and keep in mind they normally sell for 27. Here's some additional details. The hood is detachable, has premium fabric, a two snap closure and built in pockets. Now, if you guys saw my new arrivals video, you guys got the opportunity to see the newer version on this demon iron, the two in one with treble by Conair. This one is a previous model and I found it at a clearance price. Once again, in the Marietta Costco location, $19.97. Let me tell you, that's not a bad price. I know it normally sells for fifty, and anytime it goes on sale, the price comes down to thirty. That's because that, I believe that's the same price I bought mine at. Um, it does come with a couple different attachments. I really like the steamer function, although some people in the reviews online do say it, it does use a lot of water, which I agree with. But if you're just going to be steaming a couple things here and there, I think this is a pretty good option. I was excited today when I came across these Power Failure Night Lights for the price of $10 because normally they sell for $20 but I was disappointed to see that there was none left. I arrived too late and that was an amazing price. Now these do, um, you know, they, they serve as a night light and then if you have a little USB-C cable, you can also plug in your phone and that way you can plug your phone, use it as a night light and it has like five in one functions. They are perfect in case of emergencies or in case the power were to go out in your area. We've been talking about the Disney decorations and I know there's several of them right now through different Costco locations, but the pirate ship one seems to be coming down in price. In the Pacoima location, um, I found it going for $30. And guys, that's the best price I've seen. And that is an excellent price because it normally sells for 90. So I'm thinking this one is so tempting. There's a couple of them left still, and these play lights and music. I've been looking for a dash cam. Let me know if there's one you specifically recommend from Costco, but this one right here is a Type S um, dual view dash cam with AI technology. It's going for $90. I'm not too great with like crazy technology, honestly. I like to keep things very simple, but I know I need a dash cam because I do drive to several Costco locations and something like this could be so helpful for me. So this one normally sells for 120 and I found it in the Tustin location, by the way, first time ever seeing it at a clearance price. Let me know what are your thoughts on this one. The Fat Oil Lip Drip by NYX was on sale not too long ago. And this three pack, I found it at a clearance price. This was in the Moreno Valley location, by the way. And for the first time ever, I found it going for $13. That, I mean, that's an excellent price. This thing's gonna fly by super fast. There were still a couple of them left. And this one's supposed to provide a 12 hour hydration. I've smelled these Brazilian body washes before and they smell amazing. These are by Nutrients and they come as a two pack. So recently I found them going for the price of $13. This was also in the Pacoima location, by the way, but this is definitely a rare drop. $13 and keep in mind they normally sell for $17. Here we have the J Sports sandals. My mom actually got the purple ones when they were on sale. And ever since then, she's been asking me to keep an eye on, you know, the sandals. But this time around, she wants them in pink. I told her I found them for $2.97. She's like, grab me one. But guys, there was only like bigger size left. And it's such an amazing price. Only size 11 was left. And they did have both pink and purple. So just keep that in mind. And for anyone that's interested, I did spot these in the Norwalk location. 
These Nike sneakers didn't arrive to all Costco locations. I spotted these in the Moreno Valley only and I found them going for $29.97. Sizes were limited but I did spot them in both black and white. Now keep in mind these normally sold for $70.00. This is what they look like. That's the bottom part. And these are very easy to put on. Just kind of slip on, uh, slip on sneakers. Of course, they don't have shoelaces to them. And here are the white ones. I find these men's IZOD shoes to be quite stylish. I found them going for $19.97 recently. But I did notice several Costco locations still carry these. And sizes do go from size 8 through 13. They normally sell for $25, and I want to say the one time they've been on sale, the price either came down to $20 or $22. So I wouldn't say this is a major drop in price, but I would definitely recommend to start keeping your eye on these. This little Simba from the Lion King was probably one of the first Legos that arrived to Costco, and now it seems like Costco is trying to get rid of it. So I found it going for $99.97. Keep in mind, many Costco's do have it now at a clearance price. Um, and it's a total of 1,445 pieces. So if you know someone that is a Lion King fanatic and they're into um, Legos, this would probably be a nice gift. This is the Michelin Jump Starter and Power Bank. I feel like we've been talking about this item for the past two to three clearance videos. And $50 is not a bad price. I want to say the lowest was $49.97, which is really like just a three cent difference. This one has an emergency floodlight and it also has USB-A and USB-C outputs. So I'm thinking that way, you, you know, you can charge your electronics if you need to. Many Costco still have the press and seal wrap. And this one's so simple to use. I know anytime we have like leftovers and for some reason my family members, they can't find the lid. I notice this is something they always take out. So it's three rolls and I found it going for $9.97. Keep in mind it normally sells for 14. I think at this point we're all wondering what is going on with the Finish Jet Dry Rinse Aid. I noticed it went on sale and then recently I found it going for $2 in the Monterey Park location. But guys, unfortunately, there was none left, of course. $2 is an amazing price. Now, keep in mind, this thing is of 32 ounces and you could get a total of 300 washes from it. I feel like one can't ever go wrong with the 4505 chicharrones. And this one right here is their party mix and it's a big tub of chicharrones. Different shapes and sizes. It's a total of 11 ounces. And they have tajin on them too, so I'm sure you'll get a little taste of chili with lime, but nothing spicy. $4.97. They normally sell for $7.79. One ounce is around 140 calories. Did anyone try these orange cream pretzels? I never got a chance to try these. The only thing orange cream that really catches my attention though, for some reason, it's in like ice cream. $2.97 for this bag of around 26 ounces. This one is still in several Costco locations, but at this price, I only spotted it in Irvine. It's around 140 calories for six pretzels, and that would be around 13 grams of sugar. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you guys next time.